While there are many active volcanoes around the world, experts generally classify the most dangerous ones as those that are closest to highly populated areas, as they can have the most deadly effects. Take a look at the 15 most dangerous volcanoes on Earth. 1. Cotopaxi, Ecuador. Cotopaxi is located in the Cordillera Central mountain range of central Ecuador and is one of the world's tallest volcanoes, with a height of 19,393 feet. It's also one of Ecuador's most active volcanoes, having produced more than 50 eruptions since the 16th century. 50 of those eruptions have occurred since 1738. The 1877 eruption was the most violent, producing mudflows that traveled 60 miles from the volcano and into the Pacific Ocean. The most recent eruption was back in 1904, although there was a scare in 2005. As the volcano is close to a highly populated area of Ecuador, the results would be devastating if it did indeed erupt today. 2. Mount Vesuvius, Italy. Perhaps you've heard of Mount Vesuvius, the volcano responsible for the destruction of the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum back in 79 AD. In the last 17,000 years, it has seen eight major explosive eruptions, each accompanied by large pyroclastic flows, fast-moving streams of extremely hot gas and volcanic matter that can reach speeds of up to 430 miles per hour. The last known eruption was in 1944. Since Vesuvius is close to many populated areas of Italy, like the city of Naples, the Italian government is working to prepare for future eruptions. 3. Popocatépetl, Mexico. Popocatépetl, North America's second-highest volcano, is located only 40 miles southeast of Mexico City, one of the largest urban areas in the world. While there haven't been any massive eruptions in recent history, there have been periods of activity. In 1994, smoke poured from the volcano for the first time in 1,000 years, stoking fear of a possible eruption. Scientists predict there will be a massive eruption eventually, they just don't know when it will happen. If it occurs, the event will bring with it 1,000 degree lahars or mudflows and pyroclastic flows at speeds of 60 miles per hour, which would reach heavily populated areas, as well as lava ash that would destroy everything in the vicinity. 4. Mayan Volcano, Philippines. The most violent eruption of Mayan Volcano, which stretches 8,077 feet above Luzon Island in the Philippines, killed more than 1,200 people in 1814. Historical records of eruptions go back to 1616. More than 56,000 people evacuated the surrounding region in January 2018 after the volcano erupted, sending large plumes of ash towering high into the sky. 5. Mount St. Helens, Washington, United States of America. When it comes to volcanoes in the United States, Mount St. Helens is one of the deadliest. At just over 8,000 feet, it's an active stratovolcano located in Skamania County, Washington, only 50 miles northeast of Portland, Oregon. In 1980, the eruption of Mount St. Helens became the deadliest and most destructive volcanic event in United States history. 57 people died, about 200 square miles of forest was destroyed, and thousands of animals perished. The United States Geological Survey says history proves future eruptions will almost certainly occur, and the event would send large amounts of ash across the Pacific Northwest. 6. Mount Merapi, Indonesia. Mount Merapi, one of Indonesia's most active volcanoes, has been erupting for centuries. It's located near the center of the island of Java, about 20 miles north of Yogyakarta, and stands 9,551 feet tall. One of Merapi's largest recorded eruptions occurred in 1006 and spread ash throughout Java. The biggest risk with this volcano is the pyroclastic flow, which killed 64 during a 1994 eruption. Several eruptions in late 2010 generated pyroclastic flows that claimed 354 lives and forced over 350,000 people to flee their homes. 7. Mount Rainier, Washington, United States of America. At 14,410 feet above sea level, Washington's Mount Rainier towers over the Seattle and its suburbs. The volcano's close proximity to the city and its snowy cap make it one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the continental United States. The highest peak in the Cascade Range, Rainier hasn't erupted since 1894, this eruption is unconfirmed, but it still poses a risk to the nearly 2 million people who live in its shadow. Researchers fear that an eruption could generate deadly pyroclastic flows that race down its flanks. Rainier is also the most glaciated peak in the continental United States, according to the National Park Service. Should the volcano erupt, volcanologists fear it could melt that ice and send a deadly mudflow into nearby communities. 8. Nevado del Ruiz, Colombia. 80 miles west of Bogota, Colombia, Nevado del Ruiz volcano stretches more than 17,000 feet into the air. The volcano is considered one of the most dangerous in the world and produced one of the deadliest volcanic eruption on record. On November 13, 1985, 
The volcano erupted, sending a plume of ash miles into the air. Heat from the eruption melted snow and ice atop the volcano's peak, generating a series of deadly mudflows which killed 25,000 people. 9. Campi Flegre, Italy. Campi Flegre is an 18-mile-wide volcanic area, giving it the title of supervolcano, with a history of recent, large explosive eruptions. It's located partially beneath the Bay of Naples, and is extremely close to an area that is populated with more than 6 million people. It hasn't erupted since 1538, but it has been restless. Scientists say it could produce an eruption that would be 100 to 1,000 times greater than that of Mount St. Helens in 1980. That would be devastating for the nearly 1 million people who live inside the volcano's crater. 10. Mount Niragongo, Democratic Republic of Congo. Mount Niragongo may not be one of the most explosive volcanoes in the world. The Shield Volcano instead expels long flowing rivers of lava like Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano, but it has the potential to be one of the most destructive. Niragongo is nestled next to the city of Goma, home to an estimated 2 million people. In 2002, the volcano erupted, sending streams of lava down its flanks and into nearby communities. In total, 245 people died and a staggering 450,000 people evacuated, 120,000 of which were left homeless. Last year's eruption killed more than 30 people and forced many out of their homes yet again. 11. Mount Pinatubo, the Philippines. Mount Pinatubo, located in western Luzon in the Philippines, sits about 55 miles northwest of Manila and has a height of about 4,800 feet. Pinatubo's 1991 eruption, its first in more than 600 years, killed 700 people, left 100,000 without homes, and produced columns of ash more than 19 miles high. The volcanic ash cloud circled the planet and chilled global temperatures by an average of about 1 degree, according to NASA. 12. Mount Hood, Oregon, United States of America. Rising over 11,000 feet high, Mount Hood is Oregon's highest peak, located close to Portland. It has erupted episodically for about 500,000 years and has had two major eruptive periods during the last 1,500 years. These eruptions produced growing lava domes that formed pyroclastic flows and mudflows. Although it hasn't erupted since the 1700s, scientists expect the next eruption could generate serious hazards, including pyroclastic flows, ash clouds, and lahars that spill into the neighboring region. 13. Mount Agung, Indonesia. Mount Agung is a continuously erupting volcano in Indonesia. The 1963 eruption, which lasted 11 months, was one of the most devastating eruptions in Indonesian history. It produced dangerous ash fall and pyroclastic flows that caused over 1,000 deaths and widespread damage. Most recently, an eruption in 2017 sent ash tens of thousands of feet into the sky, disrupting air traffic and forcing tens of thousands from their homes. 14. Fuji, Japan. Thanks to its pristine conical shape, Japan's Fuji volcano, located 62 miles southwest of Tokyo, is one of the most widely recognized volcanic peaks in the world. The last confirmed eruption of the snowy peak occurred in 1708. Though relatively quiet, researchers warn that an eruption from Fuji could generate pyroclastic flows, devastating lahars, and shroud the nearby metropolis in a blanket of ash. 15. Tall, Philippines. Tall, a lake-filled caldera located two hours south of Manila in the Philippines, is another volcanic center to watch out for. The volcano produced four major eruptions in the last 200 years, including one that registered as a 6, out of 7, on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. Volcanologists are actively monitoring the volcano, which has been restless in recent years, and are urging visitors not to stay on or near the volcanic crater. Thank you for watching Earth and Culture. More videos about Earth and Culture are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.